So question one, how can I get a sustainable, i.e. good for the earth, job? And I suppose um, a bit of background is important. So people do ask, this is, this is becoming an increasingly important question for different reasons, especially in our point in history, let's just say. Like in the past, like you didn't have that many choices of jobs, like you had to be a coal miner or I don't know, whatever. Like, there were, like as we move into the future, more and more kinds of jobs are created. And, more, and it, as we go back in the past, it was very much a survival thing. Only a few hundred years ago, people literally didn't have birthdays for kids under 10 years old because they didn't know if they're going to survive. So it's like, what's the point? That kind of thing, right? So it's like the world is, keeps changing, and as as we move into the future, we're we're able to think about the kinds of jobs we want, and pe more and more people are becoming more careful as they also realize the effect they have on the earth as well. Okay, and how much we're we're damaging the earth far more than we were capable of in the past, right? So there's a lot of loads of very good reasons why younger people are thinking a lot more about like what 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 kind of job are we doing we don't want to just pay the bills and destroy the planet basically okay so i'm going to point out a verse of the holy quran that really helps with this um because we have to have a careful mindset and this question is not just about having a sustainable job actually the way i'm going to answer it is like how do you find any good job there's a, a method i would like to kind of talk about okay uh, and the verse of the holy quran might not obviously be make sense or be relevant but it goes basically all thanks should really be given to god who improves things in steps basically evolves things okay and as we as human beings are told to try to copy god in uh, as many ways as possible as with the image of god as you might hear in different religions um uh, so we should also try to copy those qualities of for example improving things in steps rather than going for perfection in one go so short answer is there is no perfect job that has no negative effects in the world i don't know if that sentence makes sense so there is no job that has no negative effects in the world so there's no perfect job right necessarily okay maybe there is somewhere out there but you shouldn't think there is okay as we do not live in a perfect world right we don't live in a perfect world so don't expect perfect things what we can do is have a net positive effect so net positive means overall like we might have a little bit of a negative but overall we're going to have a net positive effect ever heard of net the word net you do business don't you Sala? overall net versus gross yeah overall yeah that's the word yeah okay so, so we have a net positive effect is what our target should be and we should learn evolve and slowly make things better so we can't just make things better by just imagining things and then suddenly doing them we have to kind of make mistakes and go oh i had an idea that wasn't quite right then you evolve by learning and then take the next step forward you can't just suddenly make things better so let me kind of explain it a bit more detail as well by thinking that all thanks should go to god we dodge the danger of thinking we are special and the world owes us a job according to our thinking which is a major problem as well right people go i'm not going to do this job i'm not going to do that job i think me and you we're always talking about this side they're like i think maybe you should try different things out um because you might have an idea of what you want to do and i'm not saying don't go for it at all but like on the way you might have one or this opportunity or that opportunity and maybe take that as much while you don't have any other opportunities um if you possibly can right if you can possibly do it okay try to push yourself then you actually learn things on the way by doing them so instead we should start by trying to make the smallest possible difference so we're not going for perfection we're not like this is a job we have to do and i would just jump into that job and somehow people accept me into that job or something right what we do is we aim small okay and then we work upwards starting from 
the ground upward sort of thing. By thinking too big, we stop ourselves from making taking the first step. Right? So if it's like I have to save the world, like in one go, like you you can't do anything about it. You can't do that, right? So then you can't do anything at all. Okay. So that's the problem about thinking too big straight away. Practice makes perfect because it tests our theories and so evolves us into becoming more capable being so when i say practice make perfect it's like don't stick with your theories of how you think things will be oh one day i'll have a business and it will do this right you have to get involved you have to get mucky you have to get your hands dirty you have to do things and then you learn right Okay, by not working in the real world, our theories are not tested and we don't learn. Success, as they say, is 1% inspiration and 99% pers... I thought it is. It says, I thought it's perspiration, but I copy pasted preparation. Maybe I wrote it wrong. Perspiration, okay, is the original saying, I think. Okay, being basically the success doesn't really come from ideas it's a tiny bit about ideas but it's actually more about hard work okay so how do you do hard work well you 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 know you, hard work is about work ethic and you only get work ethic by working okay it's like a muscle right if you you if you just stand on the sidelines and you don't do any work you actually get lazy but by doing work you understand how to be good at hard work it's like you can't theoretically be good at long distance running you have to do long distance running and your body adjusts to that it's the same as work work is hard work okay so while you are looking for a job also volunteer so you're exposed to new ways of thinking beyond your existing limits i'm actually talking quite slowly i just realized looking at the time okay now, so or you can look for a low level job like itself just volunteer because there's more benefit. Yeah, sure. So while you're so yeah, good. Which is the thing I said about start small and work your way up. Okay. So when do you understand the thing? I know we're running out of time, but do you understand the thing about um uh what was I saying? When you volunteer or whatever it is, you start meeting people and you start seeing beyond your existing limits. Like, do you understand that? We all have very limited view of the world. Like what we see as the world is not really the world. It's like what we understand of the world. Do you get it? Yeah. Yeah. And so when you meet people and see new ways of thinking, go, oh, that's a different way of doing things. Oh, okay. Maybe, you know, and then you learn something, right? And you broaden your horizons, as they say. Okay. Your value to others is another point. Your value to others is based on how much you can help them. So always have the service mindset. Okay, so the way of thinking, like if you have this very positive attitude in the world, like I'm going to help you, I'm going to be whatever, right? Then you actually become more valuable because that's the kind of people need need in the world, right? The people who have that positive mindset are the people who do the job the best. Okay, I could talk about, oh uh, man, there's some great tool. I'm going to throw this in, right? Uh, the guy who had, oh uh, man, what's that? Cheetos. Cheetos, ever heard of Cheetos? Yes right the guy who invented that was a sweeper and he had a, such a positive attitude to his sweeping okay that somehow he used that same positive attitude to create um an amazing brand and now he's a billionaire so do youtube that at some point 